chapter 1 introduction to biology and laboratory rules ok this is the video that I will explain to you about introduction to biology and lab rules lah uh, if you look at this we have the biology then we try to understand what is the meaning of biology uh, and what if involved in biology compartment or division inside the biology basically in uh, form 4 SPM is not that difficult ok jadi dia tak susah sangat even for me myself is not really difficult lah but when you uh, going deep depth into the biology is exactly a quite difficult subject so many things to learn so many things to understand and then we have the lab, lab rules uh, of course we need to know the lab rules so that we not harm ourselves we are not injured injured ourselves uh, when we do the experiment okay okay biology yeah the biology biology come from the greek words of course the knowledge itself is a very long developments from early beginning of the humans up until now it evolve and it develop becoming more complex and more complex with a new finding jadi bila ada new finding bila ada penemuan baru the uh, biology knowledge itself have become more depth lah more depth lagi mendalam biology come from two words ok two words the first one is bio or in greek we call as a bios meaning life hidupan ok uh, what we consider as a life living things on earth itself then it evolve involved in the bio itself ok it's not really difficult living things benda yang hidup Jadi benda yang hidup ni they have the characteristic features of the living thing. Among the very basic features, basic characteristic of living thing ni they growing, they growth. And then they uh, have a younger generations. They mating process. And then or they have a sexual reproduction or sexual reproduction. They move, they bergerak kan. For example human itself kita bergerak. That's the what certain feature basic feature of the living things and then we have the logi or the logos the greek word we call it as a logos or the the modern word we call it as a logi is a study a knowledge okay about the living things anything related with the living things you will try to understand you will learn inside the biology Jadi semualah benda-benda yang living thing ni kita akan cuba fahamkan. Dia kategori, dia function, dia physiology, everything including the non living things. Apa non living things ni? Things that of of course are not a living thing lah, but they are affecting the living thing. Dia dia cause uh, effect to the living thing. For example the temperature temperature of course they will affect greatly for example to plant higher temperature will definitely will cause the plant to lose more water then they have a uh, certain adaptation to reduce loss of water for example another non-living thing or abiotic factor the soil so it's not a living thing they are not grow growth they are not mating dia tak membiak apa semua tu uh, but they affecting on the plant growth itself for example in the soil component they have a nutrient there for example they have nit nitrate they have magnesium they have a sodium there that may be uh, crucial to the plant growth ok that's also you need to study ok the biology allow us to understand the structure and function of organism okay allow us to understand the structure and function of organism of course we have the organism they have their own structure the name for that for that particular structure and each of the structure they have the function they, they have name name and also they have a function okay for example eye the eye itself they have a structure each part of the eye they have a name for each part and then that particular part name also have a own function for example retina 
the uh, the light the image will force on the retina retina will convert the uh, stimulus uh, in term of the image or the light to the electrical impulse send to the brain so that brain can process what is in front of that particular humans apa yang ada kat depan tu and then we try to understand the relationship interaction between organism organism interaction interaction with another organism for example we have the prey predator mangsa pemangsa how the prey affecting the populations of the predator that's in biology you will try to understand and then another one uh, from organism to the environment how the environment affecting the uh, organism how the change in the temperature how the change in the climate will also change the population okay supposedly you will learn uh, you will try to understand in biology that's why biology is not something that uh, small sm small subject a little subject they are very in depth Uh, kalau ada orang yang sambung belajar ni dia takkan sambung semua benda dia nak kena tahu tak dia sambung untuk bahagian tu itu sahaja contohnya dia study untuk uh, ikan ikan kembung jadi dia akan study master buat ikan kembung PhD pun buat ikan kembung sahaja jadi dia akan jadi expert kat ikan kembung lah for example ok uh, jadi kalau tanya dia sekilas pandang dia tahu ikan kembung tu jantan ke betina ok tak perlu panjang-panjang dia dah tahu jantan betina umur berapa Ikan kembung ni asal daripada mana Tapi kalau tanya dia tentang ikan lain Dia tak, tak tentu dia boleh jawab ke tak lah Okay And then we have a field example We have the botani Botani ni involve the plant lah Jadi apa saja yang melibatkan tumbuhan the, uh, Factor affecting the the plant You will learn in botani And then physiology We have the animal physiology We have the plant physiology. We have the uh, what we call human physiology. Kalau yang medical doctor, okay, medical student, uh, perubatan ni selalunya dia akan study on the human physiology lah. Uh, jadi dia ada anatomy and physiology. Anatomy more on the structure. Physiology how the communication interaction between the structure between each other. Okay, how it, it come out with the response with the uh, adaptation to the environments how it heal the body in example lah okay, physiology uh, genetic genetic is more on the inheritance structure that build up that particular organism try to understand the 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 uh, set up that been setting by one generation to another generation kenapa orang tu boleh ada penyakit tu kemudian anak dia tak ada tapi cucu dia ada uh, that's uh, in the genetic study lah ok uh, we will try to understand that how it happen cikgu uh, tak pasti sama ada ada ke tak dalam syllabus kamu ni tentang perkara tu mungkin ada lah ok mungkin ada and then we have the microbiology jadi microbiology they study about the micro microorganism organism that too small to see with our rough eye It difficult for humans to see with our own rough eye tapi kita boleh lihat using enhanced device device yang will help human to see the microorganism up until to the smallest microorganism is virus lah ok, uh, jadi kita boleh lihat, for example using the microscope microscope pun ada uh, lots of type for microscope, we have the electron microscope, we have the light microscope we have the compound microscope, fluorescent microscope, electron itself divided into two scanning electron microscope, transmission electron microscope, there's many type of microscope that will help the humans to see the microorganism and then it will also have the ability to distinguish the uh, microorganism itself 
This microorganism belong to what group? This belong to what group? The structure itself is what image uh, we can take out the we can snaps the image of the my, microorganism. And then we have the ecology. Okay, ecology. Ecology is more on the uh, environments lah. Okay, uh, more on the environment. The animal live in the environment. The ecosystem. That's basically on the ecology. Uh, everything that happened to the environment supposedly it will affect the animal that live in that ecosystem something happened to the australia for example the forest there burns total okay totally burn and of course they will uh, produce smoke the smoke itself will travel lots of thousands of miles maybe it will come to our country for example the forest in indonesia burn evolve in fire big fire of course it will cross the sea and affecting our country and we also affecting by that particular disaster and their contribution biology of course they have many contribution many things that without the biology the basic knowledge about living thing it will make us human very difficult to live our life okay uh, with the biological knowledge then we have the better understanding about the medical then we have the more technology more advancements of the technology for example we have the ivf in vitro fertilization people that have difficulty to get pregnant maybe because of the sperm is not really quality then they can have a, a enhancements of the technology to help fertilization outside the human body outside the female body they occur the fertilization if you still remember the fertilization occur at the tube fallopian fallopian tube and because of something that is not in the good condition inside the human body they need to take out the sperm the ovum the secondary oocyte uh, secondary oocyte out of the body then they perform the fertilization outside at petri dish okay and then after the fertilization it form the zygote then they insert into the vagina into the uterus so that they can have an implantation and then of course we have a gene therapy this is another example of how sickness inside the body can be healed by inserting the good gene replacing the bad gene that particular bad gene cause sickness to that particular humans we doesn't want that uh, sickness because it's affecting the daily life for that humans then they have a gene therapy in example we have many other things in the medical uh, world how the biology evolve from time to time develop from time to time modernize from time to time to help humans be better in health okay and then we have the pharmaceuticals these pharmaceuticals uh, they are producing the medicine okay uh, medicine for example the drugs itself that can uh, enhance certain body function or they can suppress certain body part or they can kill certain uh, cancer cells or anything lah, uh, that will help the human itself fight the sickness fight the disease for example their lack of the insulin then the world of pharmaceutical producing mass production productions of the insulin okay using for example microorganism then they have a, a farm of microorganism kan penternakan microorganism orang dekat malaysia ni kita ternak lembu kambing tapi pharmaceutical ni medical world ni they turn out microorganism so that they can harvest the insulin they can harvest the growth hormone they can harvest the glucagon okay anything lah that humans need okay uh, the very the modernized world lah and then food production 
then from the understanding of the biology we have we can have a better technology in food production so that the food itself can uh they boleh tahan they can be preserved can uh, last longer okay uh, the due date itself can be pushed uh, more longer Uh, kalau satu makanan tu kalau kita ada proses pengetinan mungkin 50 tahun mungkin boleh survive uh, kalau tidak berlaku pengaratan lah kepada tin dia tu for example cheese tapai ok uh, this a production of food that with the understanding of the biology my understanding of the bacteria for example help a lot in uh, preserving the foods in productions of the food so that it can uh, yield more profit to the company jadi company-company ini dia laki banyaklah keuntungan dia sebab barang-barang dia susah nak rosak ok and then agriculture uh, agriculture ialah uh, apa sajalah penternakan ke perladangan ke yang akan producing akan support food products ok raw material for the food lah For example, we can have the transgenic crop crops. Uh, sama ada plant ataupun tumbuhan. Plant tumbuhan sama lah kan. Animal or plant, they can enhance the characteristic of that particular organism so that they can better serve the humans. Uh, jadi, at at this condition, biology ni, they most likely will benefit the humans. Jadi, human itself is the highest hierarchy in the world itself, in earth itself. Jadi, manusia yang paling hierarchy, paling tinggi sekali. Jadi, apa saja maklumat, ilmu, dia mesti kena memberi manfaat, benefit to the humans. Okay, even they're doing the transgenic crops ni, supaya dia dapat produce the crops, fruits or animal, they are high quality. So, that they can serve better to the humans ok and then uh, we have the laboratory uh, in this chapter you also need to learn about the laboratory